Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. If you're new to this channel, my name is Shania and you have tuned into So It Goes, which is a mini series which features different DIY challenges by myself and my friend Hadassah. And in today's episode, the challenge was to do a speed challenge video. So to see who could create something in less than an hour. Now, this was absolutely not the case for me at all, but I decided that it it wouldn't be fair for me to not share the process even though it wasn't successful. So stick around to see what happened. <laughs> Good morning, it's Saturday and excuse my hair um, and my whole appearance. I want to go for a run, so I'm only going to give myself a half an hour to work on this summer dress. Um, so I'm hoping that within that half an hour, I can draft the front and the back patterns and at least transfer them over to the fabric. So let's see. All right, so here I am basically just tracing the front part of a bodice block that I made. I will actually have a tutorial on how to make a bodice block, but that will come later. And then what I did is I just traced um, the markings, or I just transferred the markings, so like the bust, the chest, the waist, and the hip. And then after that, I extended... Um, the top part of the bodice block i know it's hard to see but i just extended it to um to make up for the cowl neck i guess and then i added um i think about like a one inch um space to the side starting from underneath the cowl neck and that space was supposed to be for the drawstrings for the dress to create the runched effect then for the bottom half of the bodice block i divided it into six equal sections and then here i'm just labeling it and then i cut the pattern out completely and then after i cut after i cut it out i divided the two pieces the top part and the bottom part and then i took the bottom part and i basically cut it into six sections so that i could create that runched effect and then my time was up I am a little worried because I thought that within the course of 30 minutes I would have finished the front and the back pattern and tra had transferred it over to the fabric. I haven't even done half of that. I've only managed to finish the, um, the front pattern and, and it's not even fully finished because I have to extend the part where um, where I gather like the bottom of the dress so I don't know I honestly just being straight up I don't think I'm gonna finish it because I have 30 minutes left I need to go for a run so I'm probably gonna continue this when I come back but in another 30 minutes I, I don't know so this is the bottom half of what I was able to complete within that first half an hour of timing and this is exactly where I went wrong and unfortunately I didn't realize it until the dress was like assembled but the reason why this is the error is because I slashed I created the slash the slashes through the pattern starting from the center fold and then all the way out to the um to the side seam so that when I open the pattern the part that gets extended is the center fold area instead I needed to do it the other way so I should have been cutting starting from the side seam and ending at the center fold line so that way the, the side seam area would be what got extended and the reason why that that is important is because wherever the extension is wherever the pattern gets spread out is where the runched effect will take place so because the pattern got opened and spread out in the centerfold it meant that the dress was ready to be runched in the middle of of the dress rather than at the side of the dress so ah uh, i i might make this dress again and do this correctly um but I might not. <laughs> hey y'all, good morning. 
so it's actually the next day um, I didn't have time or I didn't make time to um, finish the the summer dress so I am going to get started on it now and I think I want to go about it in a different way so instead of giving myself the 30 minutes um, as one chunk of time I think I'm gonna break it down into 10 minute increments um, just because I feel like if I'm aware that I only have 10 minutes it'll encourage me to just work faster and be more aware of the time um, so we'll see if that makes any difference hopefully it does all right so here goes another 10 minutes towards finishing this summer dress so here I am taking that pattern from the first half an hour that I made and I am basically laying it onto my tracing paper and I am attempting to trace it but what happened is when I started dividing each section um, it basically started to break apart so what I did was I just literally took one piece and measured the distance um, that I wanted each section to represent. So I think it was about six inches. And then I just basically traced, I marked it and then I just traced it so that I could have the final um, shape. Part of me wonders if maybe if I had done this correctly, maybe the paper wouldn't have broken. But who knows, it might just be the type of paper that I was using or maybe I needed to cut a little further to allow um, more flexibility my 10 minutes is up and i did not finish as much as i thought i would have finished um, i literally only finished the front of the dress pattern so i'm really hoping that the next 10 minutes i can finish all of the back pattern because then that means i'd have like about 20 minutes to finish the dress if i were working for an hour so so then after that, I traced out the pattern that I had previously made. And to be honest, I didn't need to do this. It actually chipped away at a lot of my time. Um, so after I traced the pattern, I titled it and then I cut it out. Then I took a sheet of tracing paper, laid it down flat, and then I took my bodice block for the back of my bodice <laughs> and then I traced it. So this is just a close-up of what I was able to create within that 10 minutes of time. And my intention is really just to create the shape for the top of the back of the dress. If I were to be working for an hour, I would have 10 minutes left. And in that 10 minutes, I, based on how I've been working, I predict that I'd probably only be able to finish about half of the back of um, the dress pattern. So. so here I'm just adding extra paper to my current paper because I needed space and I just finished tracing the back of my block and I created the shape for the back neckline um, and then I just titled it and then cut it out. So this is what I managed to do in that last 10 minutes as well after i finished tracing the back of the bottom half of my pattern i decided to transfer the markings so the waist and the hip line and then i added one inch to the side seam and this one inch is to accommodate the the runched or the gathered side effect If I were to have given myself just an hour to work, clearly I did not complete the project, but I decided to continue anyway. I traced the bottom half of the back of the dress and I added one inch to the side. And now what I need to do is I need to divide it into six sections and then I need to do, do the slash and spread method. So I'm really close to being done. So here I'm dividing the bottom of the back pattern into six equal sections and then I'm going to basically do the slash and spread method as I did before with the front of the dress and here I'm just cutting it out and cutting out each section.
And so here I just started tracing the slashes for um, the bottom of the back of my pattern. And similar to what I had done before, here I'm just separating each of the six panels and then I'm tracing it so that I can form a curve for the pattern. And here I'm just cutting out the last pattern piece before it's time to start tracing the patterns onto the fabric. And here I'm just laying down all of the patterns onto the fabric. I'm tracing it out and then I'm just cutting out the patterns. This is what it looked like after I had installed the zipper on the side. And I my plan was to go ahead and just close up the side seam and then try to add the runching effect on the other side. So once I realized that I kind of did this wrong, that it definitely wasn't going in the direction that I wanted it to go in, I took to Instagram on my story and I just reached out for help and asked whether or not I should have just made the dress like short and tight or loose and short or just keep it with the asymmetrical look. Um, and yeah, so if you are not following me on Instagram, you definitely should because I'm a lot more active with my stories. Um, so go ahead and follow me now. So I decided to just leave the dress as it is. I couldn't even try on the dress. Well, I tried it on, but I had the hardest time getting out of it. So I couldn't even like, you know, wear it as it is because it does look kind of cute as a style, like an asymmetric style. Um, but obviously for a much smaller person. Um, I had thought about maybe making it just like a, a crop top or like a top in general right underneath the cowl neck, but no. Another thing about this dress that was a fail is the fact that it's so sheer, it's so see-through, and I didn't have enough fabric to create a lining for the bottom half of the dress. I created a lining for the top half, but I didn't have enough fabric, so you could clearly see through it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment and share this video with anybody that you think would really get a kick out of it. If you have any suggestions for video ideas, please be sure to leave a comment. I would love to know what you guys think. All right, until next time, ciao.